Hello, my name is Sean Farrell. Uh, Patrick Farrell was my grandfather. And Patrick was born and raised in the house behind me. And Patrick was born in 1856. Uh, his father was Bernard Farrell, mother was Sarah Casey. He went to Glencoll School and uh, uh, he got married to uh, Bella McFadden in 1890. And uh, he raised a family of 13, three of which died and 10 uh, still lived. Uh, Patrick was a stonemason, as his father before him was a stonemason. Patrick was a building contractor in the locality, worked in a lot of churches uh, and schools and uh, in houses, local houses and barns and that. Um, he also worked uh, at the uh, chapel in Oma and uh, the railway bridges in Donegal. The house behind me in the 1911 census was a four-roomed house um, built up to uh, uh, a two-storey dwelling uh, around 1930. And uh, uh, I think they ended up with something like eight rooms. Uh, there was a, a small scullery at the back uh, with a stone sink in it, uh, which is in front of me here now. And uh, he had running water in that sink in the 1930s, you know. Uh, there's an outshot here behind me as well uh, that he uh, created an area for his wife uh, for the sewing machine, so that she could do sewing. Um, he had a, a lovely garden, which is up here to my left hand side, and he had all the, the fruits and uh, the flowers and that that you could mention, also an orchard. In his later years, he wrote poetry. Now, uh, whenever I was brought up and raised in this house, the uh, pieces of paper uh, lying about, with handwritten notes on them, absolutely meant nothing to us at all. And how they survived, uh, I don't really understand. But Geraldine, uh, seeing that there's something there, her and Sean McDonald uh, spent time and pieced these uh, together. If Geraldine hadn't done that, uh, that history would have been lost forever, you know. But it meant nothing to us whenever we were coming up because it's just bits of, bits of paper with uh, handwritten notes on it, just, you know. Between my father and neighbours and that, we knew that there was poetry, yeah, because people could rhyme out poems to you. You know what I mean? And uh, so we knew that there was poetry about, you know. And what was and the poetry about? The locality, just. And, uh, uh, you know, Glen Cull and, and, and uh, up Crocker Road up there, and every field had a name, which probably meant nothing to us at the time, but uh, it meant a lot to the local neighbours and that, because they knew every field and knew exactly what he was on about. You know? We're delighted that Neil Hannah is doing the like of this because it's. Uh, it's Let's us uh, feel that, that uh, people must, uh, you know, think a lot about his poetry. My name is Niall Hanna and I'm delighted to be here today uh, and I was delighted to be asked to put some music to Patrick Farrell's uh, poetry and uh, I'll be singing a song here uh, called, it's from, from the poem called uh, Glen Culls Flowery Vale and um, I was delighted to, to get my hands on some of Patrick Farrell's poetry and I was able to see uh, some of the the, the things that were important to him, obviously, in his life, um, like the nature around him and uh, the sport and the music. And uh, those things were obviously very important to him at that time and are still very important today in this part of the world. Um, he, he, the song also, well, the poem talks about uh, people leaving the area and, and moving away to uh, countries far away. Um, emigration has always been a, a, a big thing in Ireland and uh, you can see that in, in, in Farrell's poetry, a lot of his poetry he talks about, uh, he longs for people to come, come back uh, come back home and uh, I think uh, this, this song uh, captures that um, quite well. So it's a song called 
uh, Glenn Culls Flowery Vale, and it's written by Patrick Fora. <laughs> Let us sing of days when we were young Our minds were free from care Our hearts were light and hopes were bright And nature's face seemed fair We sought the bars in youthful hours And did the sweets inhale Of the fragrant shade The woodbines made in Glen Cole's flowery vale T'was here the first red rose bud burst To welcome early June Here the warbling throng their notes prolong in melody and tune And the lark on high in the morning sky That does its joys reveal And does play its part to cheer the heart When the evening came, each manly game would join with right good will, and the pleasant chaff and singing laugh, I think I hear it still. We joined each sort of manly sport, the pastimes of the played each game to raise the fame of Glen Cole's flowery vale. Well, this flowery vale with hill and dale by providence designed the home to be of chivalry and gentle hearts combined Where the silvery ring of pipe and string resounding on the gale Makes the lad and lass to skip the grass in Glen Cole's flower Many comrades they have sailed away with foreign lands to roam And they bid adieu to the friends not few, their childhood happy home But they'd see in dreams our moonlit streams, their exiles they'd be when they call to mind the scenes behind in Glen Cole's flowery Will the ocean track e'er give us back the youths that wild away? Shall we ever see prosperity enticing them to stay? Blow gentle breeze o'er the western seas and bring to an fail though 
those exiles true to Roshin do and Glen Cold's flurry My name is Benny O'Hanlon and I'm the owner and founder of Taws Deep Outdoor Activity Centre for our off-road centre um, here at 30 Taws Deep Road, Ballygally. And uh, we've been going now close on 30 years at this venture. And at the very start, I was well aware of Patrick Farrell's poetry, but it clicked with me when I was reading Lanavoy that the poem was actually about the site, about the site that we were playing on. And further research, I found out that Lanavoy or the best, the best guess from a, from a fluent Irish speaker was that Lanavoy meant the flat yellow field, which is the field just directly behind the house at the bottom of the at the bottom of the valley, and that's probably that field was probably called Lanavoy, and then we had the other fields, the Hazel Glen and Park and Ely Side, and all the other areas mentioned in the poem are all identifiable, and the Golden Stairs at, at, at going up to the top of of Crockerar. we have succeeded in bringing back employment. We've succeeded, succeeded in getting something for the young people to do, and we've put a stamp on the landmark. So, Patrick Farrell's poetry embedded in history the area and 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 time, and he and he recorded in, in historically about the, about the thing, and our business hopefully has done the same, has brought it from what he was doing right into the next century, and what the young ones now is that there is something for them. And so on. So we were delighted to try and introduce the fire of the weekend, and bring back, or at least revive the memory, and put a stake in the ground about what the fire memory is, what Patrick Fire's poetry meant, and, and 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 so on. And we, with the Shirley, our my daughter, who looked after the whole thing along with the fire family, she has done a lot to bring this back to life, so to speak. So that's what we're doing. That's what we intend doing. And we, we, we're doing that just because we're here and we've received a lot of benefit out of this area and a lot of benefit out of the, the, the things that's been handed down to us, the traditions that's been handed down to us, and as mentioned in the poetry. And it's very, very important for all that to be kept. And yes, we do have all sorts of stuff in the area, of football clubs and we have music clubs and we have everything else. But this is different. This is about employment and it's about something to to mark the area, and that's that's where we are. So we're really looking forward to everybody being here on the 25th, Sunday. And the crack starts at one o'clock and runs on till the evening time, later on in the evening. And as Patrick Farrell famously said, a wood kind fate where brave men lived, let joy once more prevail, with the children's merry laughter ringing on an evening gale. Sunday the 25th, let's do it for the man. <laughs>